Hello everybody and welcome to this guide and tutorial for the golden shot difficulty level is hard and before we start make sure that you do hit the thumbs up button also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications you can get exclusive tour text guides or and the ultimate tournament guides for uh, for tournament play and then obviously tour players already explained on patreon.com slash gold clash tommy link directly in the description down below unfortunately due to technical difficulties uh, from the hotel that i'm currently staying here for this golden shot video i cannot provide you with any videos or a camera because then that will be so laggy that it's going to be impossible for you to see what's going on so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go do a shorter video here and give you a screenshot so i'm go going to also talk you through the text guide that we do have and as always you can follow the text guide by just taking the te text guide and follow it to the letter and you will get the outcome that we are looking for so that is that's not good obviously but that's the best we can do in this scenario i will be back as normal for the next golden shot uh, with a proper guide for that one we are going to play this guide with the, the golden wood club every single time medium distance with a 20 percent over adjustment which is 1.9 per ring you can find the vpr table on the right hand side of the game screen and that one can be followed uh, without using any type of application obviously we have all of that in the text guide as well when it comes to the landing position this is the landing position that we shall be using with any type of wind you can see here now that we do have the bottom of the white ring by the sand trap line we do have left side of the yellow ring to be by the rough line and you can see the view that i'm setting up my target in as well that's the view that i want you to set up your target with also because that's going to be easier than to see the rough line for the yellow ring and also then at the same time the sand trap line with the white ring in all winds but two we are not gonna go with any type of curl so the curl picture here that I'm, that I'm going to show you is only going to be used when we do have a direct wind coming left to right, like a crosswind, or that we do have a northeast wind, so a tailwind with left to right wind. Then we're going to use this amount of curl, and this is also going to be uh, displayed in the text guide for you all to see. And that's very important because without using curl, you will, uh, trust me on that, you will miss to the right of the pin or high of the pin every single time so now we go directly over to the text guide then as we don't have any videos and here we do have the text guide which is made by tony richardson as usual here for us and you can find this text guide in the description down below or on the website golfclashtommy.com or any type of community out there because our golden shot guide is going to be the one to follow and then it's out there once again, you can see the landing position on the left, and we are going to focus on the spins here. And the spin that we are going to use is in direct tailwind. We use 2.8 backspin to left spin. Wind coming northwest, right to left tailwind. 2.9 backspin to left spin. Wind coming left to right with, uh, with tailwind. 2.5 backspin to left spin. And there we shall also use outside wall left curl. And that is what that curl amount is explained as wind coming left to right in direct crosswind we do have 1.8 backspin and two bars of left spin outside wall left curl wind coming right to left direct crosswind two and a half backspin 1.3 left spin now we go to uh the headwind line or the headwind arrows we do have the wind coming left to right with headwind 1.3 backspin two left spin and then we do have wind coming right to left with headwind. We do then go with 1.8 backspin, 1.5 left spin. Direct headwind, we do have one backspin and 1.7 left spin. And obviously, if you do have any type of wind that is in between the lines that, it, that is explained, which will happen, then make sure to tweak and adapt for that. You also notice that we do have more backspin in wind coming right to left than what we do have in wind coming left to right. You maybe wonder why. And the reason why is that as you can see on the landing position screenshot, you see that the fairway slopes right to left, which means that every time when we do have a wind coming right to left, we will adjust up to a higher point. 
And when you adjust from a lower to a higher point, you are going to gain distance. That's how it works in Golf Clash. So with that in mind, we then need to add more backspin to make sure that we can get the ball to come in towards the pin in the same way as it would be going, uh, as the wind then would be coming left to right. So, and that's the same, you know, when it comes to the opposite direction, which also is important to have in mind to learn from is if the wind is coming left to right, in this scenario, we are just from a higher to a lower point, which means in that way that we are going to lose some distance instead. And with that then in mind, then we do have less backspin with that route. So that's the tricky part with this hole if you go in completely blank, because it's easy to get somewhat close all the time. But to really dial this one in, you're going to have to really think about what happens when you do adjust. Do, I, do you adjust to a lower to a higher point or isn't there any change whatsoever? But here we do have it as well, and you can see that you do have a free master qualifying round guide for all for the Mini, which is also called a nine hole cup. So the, for Porthello Cove, nine or like the open 2021 nine hole cup, which is the Porthello Cove, we will be doing a nine hole cup uh, qualifying round guide for master division only. And that's going to be produced and it's going to be uploaded for the whole community to use for free. This is a way for us to let those that are requesting every tournament to be able to try our guides out and see that it actually works. And also in that case, being able to have something to work with and try to do as good a uh, nine hole cup qualifier as possible. We won't do anything for the final round. This is only the qualifying round guides and it will be posted in various community uh, out there, which obviously is regarding Golf Clash. So there we do have it, ladies and gentlemen, and once again, I do apologize for not being able to display any videos, but follow the text guide, follow the instru instructions given in this guide video, and trust me, you will have a fun time on the Green of Point. Let me also know in the comment section below how it went for you. Did you get the hole in one? Did you get anything else? Or didn't you get anything? And if so, you know, if you didn't get anything, let me know what happened. Because obviously hitting a great ball will have effects that we cannot really uh, co uh, like counter when it comes to a guide. We need to focus on to hit that perfect ball. Golden Shot as well has a shot clock.